Some powerful new tools just dropped for Kittle and they're all about vector design. In this video, I'm gonna show you all of the new vector tools. We're gonna to get hands on with them and review them. And also I'm gonna talk a little bit about what this means for design in general, what it means for you and me and graphic design software. I think this is a pretty big update. Now Kittle has a lot of really cool tools, I would say, and we could probably spend a whole video talking about their interesting tools that they got. They've got this mock-up feature here we can you put your design straight onto live mockups. Uh, it's really helpful. They've got tons of templates, uh, cool typography. They've got a bunch of elements and icons. They've got stock imagery. You can just drop right in textures. A lot of interesting stuff here. Now, I just posted a video about using Kittle for a real design project. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, you can check that out in one of these top corners. But for now, we're going to focus on the vector tools and what's strictly new to this big update. My name's Grayson, this is Grayson's Graphics, and on this show we talk about all things design. Kittle partnered with me to bring you this video and this information, and we're gonna have a little coupon code at the end of the video, but this is my totally unbiased and honest review of the new update. Uh, but let's check it out, let's dive right in. Here is the new and improved Kittle. <laughs> Looks a lot like the old Kittle, uh, but with a few minor but major changes. So uh, biggest thing down here is the pen tool. The number one change is there is a pen tool and it works like a pen tool. As you can see, you draw lines, uh, you can click and that draws straight lines. You can press and hold and that draws curvy lines. If you hit shift, you know, you can kind of go on a line there and you can double click and end your pen path. You can increase your border there and then you can get back in here just by double clicking and start messing with your points again. Double clicking them rounds them out. Again, you can drag your anchor points around. Yeah, my consensus here, I mean, you can delete points. It works as it should and that's a good thing. It does what you expect it to and you can come from any graphic designer into Kittle and easily use this pen tool or you could learn the pen tool on Kittle and easily jump to another software like Adobe Illustrator and be able to use the pen tool just fine. So I'm gonna make a pretty basic organic looking shape here by just again clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging and I'll close it off with a little bit more clicking and dragging. <laughs> uh, and here we go. Here's a funky looking shape. Going to double click in here and actually add another point. Can I do that? I guess I don't know if I tied that out. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to double click in here. I just add another point and I might, might round this out. I kind of like this little organic shape that we're, uh, we're grafting. Beautiful. This is this is gorgeous. I love this shape. Now, of course, we can change the border and then we can also fill it in with color. Let's put a little bit of red going on here. It's got a black border, but we can easily just hide that or remove it. And now we got a nice red shape. If I click option, we can select this, drag it and that duplicates it. Uh, we can change this color so you can see, see it a little better to blue. There you go. So again, we have a pen tool. I think it's pretty impressive that an online template based software like Kittle can have a functioning pen tool that doesn't have any bugs and works well and is quite snappy. It's pretty cool because traditionally you only see a pen tool in real vector heavy softwares that you download to your computer and they they uh, take up all your hard drive space. But Kittle's got it. They figured it out. And I think that's pretty good. Now I've got my two shapes here. And if I select it, here's our next big tool. Number two, uh, the shape builder. So over here, we have several options for combining and subtracting shapes. This is something, again, most people are going to be familiar with. If you're not, I'll just give you a brief overview. Basically, you have two shapes. They're on different layers here. The red one is underneath the blue one. If we select both of these, we have four options. The first one is to combine these shapes together. Now we have one unified shape. The second option here is to subtract the shape. So the shape on top was cut out from this. This is really helpful. If let's say we wanted to make this guy into a little person, we could go to our shape tools, grab an ellipse, hold down our shift button so we get a nice perfect looking circle. We could grab this and subtract a little eyeball from here. Let's say we do another one, subtract another eyeball. 
let's say we get in here and and we add our our mouth and here is our crazy looking little guy here so that's just one example of how to make a vector with the shape builder tool um our other shape builder options is then we have intersect so that cuts out this middle piece like the venn diagram piece of the two shapes you can see that and then the other option is to exclude the intersection, which is the opposite of the Venn diagram, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, you can see that produce some pretty crazy looking results. And actually, if we want to get in here and like delete this, we could double click our layer. Oh, that kind of looked cool, too. Hold on. Not bad. I'll bring that up just a bit. Now we got a kind of interesting looking shape there. I mean, that could be a freaking logo. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a logo to me. Now we can also drop our own SVG files straight into Kittle. So for example, I've got this vector file right here. It's an SVG and I can just drag and drop it into the online software, which again, that's, that's pretty cool that you can just drag and drop into the browser. And if I grab this, I can easily jump right in here, double click and instantly be able to mess with our path so i could grab this and let's say i wanted to fill this in i could select all three of these points click a click and fill that in or of course i could make more drastic changes like grabbing this and and editing the whole thing which is pretty neat and of course i could change the color all of that full functionality here to edit that vector now i do have a couple more complicated vectors like this one this has a lot of colors in it it's fairly large as you can see, I'm scaling it down here. And it's also a group of vectors. And because of that, when I double click, I get this little message. This SVG is not supported for editing. So I think there's limitations, but also this came out like six days ago, something like that. So we'll give them a little break, okay? Now what you can still do is you can still edit all of your colors. So I can grab this orange and straight up change that to another orange, or I can go into the shape builder, hit union, and now I can edit the paths after you kind of merge it into one layer, which is pretty neat. So there's definitely options there for dropping your own vectors into Kittle and also creating vectors yourself with Kittle. Now, another thing you can do is Kittle has a pretty interesting AI feature here. I know, I know, AI, AI, but listen, just hold on, just check this one out. So if we scroll over to the sidebar here, we can grab uh, down here the little star Kittle AI and then there's image generator. You're gonna click on this and then they've got a couple of different styles down here for what we're doing. We're going to hit the vector style. So I'm just going to do the first one. And then let's say we want a MacBook. We're going to type in MacBook and just hit generate. This thing's going to spit out a MacBook vector graphic in three, two, one. Boom. And there it is. Looks pretty cool. It's literally got the Apple logo in the middle of it, which is sick, but it is a lot of black. So I'm going to generate again, see if we can get one that isn't so much of this black uh, screen, something that looks a little different. Bam. Check this out. This one's pretty cool. I like this thing a lot. Um, but what I don't like is this giant black uh, rectangle that's coming out the side of it. So I can double click in here and then start deleting these points. And there you go. We went from an AI generated image to now it is a vector and we can mess with the paths and delete them and make this thing look how I want it to look. OK, we got all those paths deleted. This thing's pretty cool. It looks like a little Banksy style stencil almost. And we can adjust sort of the colors here and I mean, just manipulate it and edit it and change it however I want to change it. Not bad Kittle. On that same note, Kittle's got a lot of cool typography. If we just grab something, let's say we grab this bourbon. <laughs> so we've got our uh, sort of bourbon logo. Let's see. We don't need that. Let's change this to be Grayson's graphics. Um, now you can see they've got a lot of really cool text here. You can kind of like <laughs> change all these things. I actually really like their text on a path. It is so easy to use, especially compared to Illustrator's text on path, which I have always felt like is a nightmare. Um, but what we're getting at today is, of course, vector tools. So if you right click, you can now outline text, get in here, grab this sucker and double click. And now we have our paths. 
This is really helpful for making custom typography. I can hold down shift here and you can see it stays on the same plane, which again, that's really, really actually practical and helpful for making really interesting typography. I can grab in here and manipulate each one of these, make this a little bigger, let's say. But most importantly, if I didn't like the way this G was looking, I can delete and I can try things on my own, add a different path here, round it out, kind of curve it. And of course, this doesn't look very good, but it's the fact that I can. It's that I can do it. And uh, with enough time, and if I wasn't just trying to show you something, if I was spending time on this, uh, I could make some really interesting custom typography and really cool looking logo, vector based logo. And when you're done with your really cool typography here, you could hit share and you could download the project as an SVG file yourself. Last big feature that I want to cover in this video is Kittle announced real-time collaboration tools for teams. So basically people on different computers around the world can all hop into the same project, the same artboard and edit it in real time. That's kind of wild. That is actually a really big deal. And that is a very unique feature to Kittle. And I think that's going to be very practical and very helpful when collaborating. So now that we've seen what Kittle can do, I just want to talk about just for a second, just, just you and me, let's just talk for a second about what this means in general, because I think this is a big update. In my mind, there is a kind of a war going on in professional design. And, you know, you've got people who are agencies or they're professional logo designers and they're using professional design softwares like Adobe Illustrator and Figma, let's say, and all of those professional softwares. And then you got people that, you know, just need a flyer or a book club poster, or they're running a small business and they need some basic designs. And that has been really a market for these softwares like Kittle and like Canva. But I feel like with this software update, with this big new change to Kittle, I feel like they're bridging the gap a little bit between the professional design software and the amateur software. And they're bringing a lot of functionality. I've met a lot of people who are using Kittle and they're using Canva as their primary design software. If you're a social media manager or an influencer or a content creator or a small business owner, you now have access to designing logos and vector-based tools and typography and all these really helpful templates and tools that they have on top. And you can just dive right into here and learn graphic design pretty easy. Let me know if you use Kittle or you're planning to use Kittle after this update and just what your thoughts are overall in the comments below. And also, again, I've got a coupon code, a Kittle coupon. So if you do want to try Kittle out, uh, I got a little thing. It's in the description. It'll give you like 25% off or they have a free trial and you can try that out too. And then if you like it, you might want to buy the pro plan. 25% off. <laughs> it helps the channel out and it helps me bring you content like this where you get big updates about softwares and all types of design news. And there's a chance that you are watching this video because you're procrastinating your design project and you don't want to do that work of opening up <laughs> Kittle or Adobe Illustrator. And if that's you, if you're procrastinating right now, I've got a great video for you to watch next. It's right over here and it's about uh, me using Kittle to design a whole project in to beat that creator's block and just get started on my project. Uh, so check that out.